Hey guys, this is Mike Ash from uh, Phoenix Survival. Uh, I was looking for some obsidian uh, to make arrowheads, and I noticed that there was a lot of bog iron in this area. Uh, so I figured I'd do a piece on bog iron. Uh, I hope to, at a later date, uh, make a smelter and and continue to show you that, but. At this point, I'm just going to talk about bog iron, but uh, what what we have here in this area, this is all obsidian. So there's a lot of resources here, right on this, right on this uh, creek bank. But over there, I don't know if you can really tell, but there's obsidian all over the place. Uh, but for bog iron, uh, bog, I bog iron uh, are impure iron deposits that develop in swamps, bogs, and other areas. Uh, iron rich water flow deposits uh, build up chunks of uh, iron over the centuries. Uh, actually considered new deposits because of how quickly in geologic terms they form. Uh, in the dark ages finding bog iron was an actual profession. Uh, and most of the Viking armor and weapons were made out of bog iron. But uh, here's a piece that I just found. Uh, nice deposit of bog iron along this creek bed uh, and this is a very large piece that I haven't grabbed just because of how large it is uh, and I use and when I was here I had a whole couple bags full of bog iron so I didn't grab this I couldn't at the time but as you can see along the edge you'll see some rusty areas and this is uh, usually bog iron uh, some of it you couldn't really get like this has some on it but the problem is it's also on a piece of obsidian so I don't know how much bog iron you would actually get out of that piece but this is solid here's my collection of uh, bog iron uh, I got quite a bit. Uh, it's a nice piece there. Uh, I have a lot of nice, nice pieces. I have some that are not quite as dense. Have more uh, different materials in there. You're going to lose a lot of this when you smelt it but these two right here are very good uh, this is a good one good right here you can actually see the metal color not just the rust uh, this piece back here very very heavy big piece I found um, areas to find uh, bog iron uh, springs iron rich springs in uh, swamps and bogs uh, especially at the spring head uh, uh, sometimes you'll see uh, iron color uh, streaks of iron color that uh, kind of meander and wave around uh, in the sand and uh, in the creek bed itself and the areas around it uh, <clears throat> a lot of times you'll see an oil Kind of an oily residue on top of the water that is actually the bacteria interacting with the iron itself so that is a very good uh indicator that there's bog iron in that area uh the way to find it uh best way to find it would be a uh a, a metal rod a thin metal rod let's say uh let, let's say a piece of uh, rebar or something maybe a thin piece of rebar you just kind of probe down into the soil until you find it and then dig it out um, peat bogs 
uh, it would cut away uh, sections like a brick, maybe larger than that though, and uh, peel it back, and there would be pea-sized um, pieces of iron there, um, and collect them. Um, you would take, you would take, uh, collect that, and keep going around to do that, and then uh, put the put it back, put the peat back where it was. It's kind of like lifting the carpet up and pulling out stuff, but uh, cover it back up, and in a, in a generation, which is 20 years, uh, there would be more there. Um, also, in peat bogs. You can uh, just probe around, and you can find it. Uh, newly plowed fields and lowlands, um, you can find it. And creek edges, uh, where where the water uh, seems to, you know, uh, have a lot of iron to it. Um, and a lot of times the rocks will show some iron, uh, some oxidization on there, some rust. But uh, look right below the vegetation line and the water, and uh, a lot of times you'll uh, fill it there. A lot of times the water erosion will expose the bog iron for you. But uh, that's pretty much it. And then it's ready to be smelted and forged.